I can improvise a blackberry and apple crumble, but you cannot improvise repairing a camera. My little punnet with juicy, juicy blackberries. It's all under control. I have a piece and I don't know where it goes. I've never actually made this, but it's meant to be really easy. On est tous ensemble, à poil. What do you think, Philip? My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau gonville saint fleur Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. What happens? Well, apparently you did a really rubbish DIY job and your daughter's repairing it. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ella, what are you doing? I'm just repairing it. But you went and got the screwdriver all by yourself? Yes. Did she? Where did you find it? On the, on just the tab where I found it, where the other tab where we eaten. Oh, you found it on the table, okay. <laughs> She's doing it, for real. Ella, I'm impressed. <laughs> and all this in a princess costume. She's putting you to shame and your influencer style. No. After boots and shorts, the new thing is boat shoes and socks. Done? All right, thank you, Ella. Now she's taking over the editing. I don't want you to do that, though. <laughs> Format hard drive, no. Don't click. Oh. No! In last week's video you've seen me receiving a brand new camera. That means now we have two. One, this one filming me right now and the old camera, which unfortunately is broken. I still can film with it. It makes still very nice images, but there's no sound. I need to fix this. And I reached out to a company and they gave me a quote and it's 400 euros. 400 euros to change a little thing like this. Can you see this? Would you pay 400 euros for this? I don't think so. So I decided I fix it myself. I spent 27 euros on a piece and another 50 euros on tools, which is still less than 400 euros. And I spoke with Anna and she thinks I am crazy to do this. It is definitely out of my comfort zone. But deep in my heart, I know that it is a mistake. I'm, I'm very scared to be honest. But I promise you, even if this is not going to be a success, even if I fail, this sequence is going to end up in the edit. I want to be truthful to you. I think you deserve it. And speaking of deserving, out of a pure and absolute coincidence, I just happen to have opened our Patreon page. If you enjoy our videos and if you want us to continue making them, it would be amazing if you could take five minutes to check out our Patreon page because thanks to our patrons, we are able to continue doing this. And in exchange, you have access to monthly Q and A's and exclusive behind the scenes videos. This week, for example, we spoke very openly about our Chateau finances. And there are different tiers with different perks, starting from only five euros a month. Now, with this out of the way, and knowing that basically all of you will, just after watching this video, head over to our Patreon page and subscribe, I can finally take care of this poor, old, ill camera and hopefully bring it back to life.
this is a Christmas tree that was planted a very, very long time ago and has grown into this massive pine tree in front of our Toulongere. At the bottom is a mass of brambles, but it does happen to have some very juicy blackberries. And that's where I go and get my blackberries when I do my breakfast and things like that. So let's go and have a look if there's any left. It's like a mess, a mess of brambles and pine tree. But one day we're gonna probably either get rid of this Christmas tree, but what am I gonna do for blackberries then? Can you also see, I think that there's a chestnut and an oak tree growing out of this mess of brambles and pine trees. I'm wondering if we can save them and transplant them because we actually don't have any oak trees here, so it would be really nice if we could replant it somewhere. But at least we have blackberries. Can I reach them? Ah. Without being attacked by the bramble bush. Well, I have filled up my little punnet with juicy, juicy blackberries. I think I have enough. I hope I have enough. I've pretty much taken everything I can access, which is not above my arm height. I'm hoping this is gonna be enough. looks like serious stuff. <laughs> the thing is, in order to access this port here, you kind of need to undo the whole camera. Luckily, I found a really nice person who had the same problem. And this person had the brilliant idea to film himself, showing you how he did it. Now, the challenge is to find all the screws needed to open the body. So what I'm gonna do, I just unscrew all the screws that I can see. I can see one here. I suppose I have to unscrew this. Should I like mark them? Ah, it's too many. The guy starts by removing this plate here. And by the way, if you're asking, am I not gonna lose warranty if I do this? Well, I run out of warranty already, otherwise I wouldn't do that in the first place. How long do you wanna see me unscrewing screws? I'm gonna do a time lapse. I would be terribly sorry if we would lose some subscribers because I'm repairing a camera. I, I try to make it as entertaining as possible, maybe with some music. I unscrewed all the screws from the outer body and look what happens. You see this? Look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm a, I'm a bit shaky. How is he doing this? How is the guy on the video doing this? I'm gonna use a plastic tool here. Look at this, this is like, it's like a dentist's kit. Or some, I don't know, torture thing from a horror movie. So how is he taking these things apart? Okay, he says, use your fingernail. I, I don't have fingernails like that. I don't know how and where to push. I just remove this one and I remove this one. And now I need to remove this big one. The horrible noises. <laughs> I just removed the viewfinder. What do you think? What are my chances to get it back together later? You won't believe what just happened. Anna came in and just took away my brand new camera to make some cooking videos. And now I'm here making tremendous progress on the camera front and I can't show you with the nice super camera so I have to use my phone. I have several parts now. This is the camera body. This is the top part, which I successfully removed. And these are my screws perfectly organized. And some of them labeled, some not, because I forgot to label them. The headphone part is here, the faulty part. So I still need to take more things apart in order to reach the faulty part and exchange it. 
So wish me luck. I just have to show you what I'm doing. I'm literally removing the motherboard of the camera. One more, one more connector here to remove. But the technique to remove these connectors is to push these two end bits. Be honest with me. How sexy is that? A man who can connect and disconnect all these pieces so gently. Philip? Hi. Hi. Oh my god, what have you done? It's all under control. Really? It is, it is. And because you didn't give me the camera, the people couldn't see all the intermediate steps. So there's one last thing I have to remove and then I can find the faulty part. Look, that's already a little bit of the faulty part. Wow, Philip. I hope you are going to be able to put this back together and you haven't just ruined our camera. <laughs> no, you know, the, the important thing is to keep things organized. If I remember 80%, then the remaining 20% I can improvise. They look really similar. They're all black. You know, they all screw in the same way. And I can improvise a Blackberry and Apple crumble, but you cannot improvise repairing a camera. I'm sorry. This video on YouTube is going to tell you exactly how to put it back. Okay. And when is this going to be finished? Matter of minutes, mm -hmm. if not hours. Because you do need to start editing the vlog, otherwise there will not be a vlog this week. Uh, what do I need? I'm going to try and make this blackberry and apple crumble. I've never actually made this, but it's meant to be really easy. I have got my blackberries handpicked from the garden. I just counted them out. I'm supposed to have 400 grams. I have 350, but whatever, it's fine. And then I'm supposed to have 200 grams of almonds. I have 20. So, you know, this is going to be a bit improvised, this recipe, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Six apples, and I've got a few extra because these are all handpicked by my very kind neighbor, very local. 180 grams of oats, 100 ml of grapeseed oil. It's not rapeseed, it's grapeseed. 100 ml of maple syrup and a good sprinkle of cinnamon. Improvised recipes are always the best, aren't they? I mean, I know baking is supposed to be a science, but I feel like with a crumble, you can probably be a bit more relaxed. Three tablespoons of oil. I love cinnamon. Cinnamon and apple go so well together. Next, I need to peel my six apples. Timer is up, 10 minutes. Ooh, and that looks really good now. Mm, it smells so good. It smells like Christmas, I think it's the cinnamon. This is like your perfect winter recipe. And ironically, I'm doing it on a really warm sunny day. <laughs> I'm just gonna put my oats on top of it. I can put it in the oven at 200 degrees for about 25 minutes. It's pretty easy. The, the faulty part, the heart of this camera. This is the faulty part. No, this, sorry. They, they all look the same. This is the faulty part. I have a theory when it comes to these cameras. There's so many parts, and I don't think you need all of them. It's like engineers who build bridges. They make them 
stronger than they should be. They, they do their calculations and then they come to a result and then they just multiply it by three to be sure, you know, the bridge doesn't collapse. And that's what these camera builders do. They put a lot of pieces in these cameras. Not all are needed. Finally, he's back, taking care of the lawn. It's urgent, but he spent the whole last week at school, and I can't wait to find out how it went. Nathan, pendant la journée, tu es à l'école le soir. Je suis à l'internat. Je suis à l'internat. C'est un internat mixte. Oui, mais en deux parties séparées. Internat mixte en deux parties séparées. Tu as déjà trouvé moyen pour aller chez les filles Non, mais j'ai un plan. Non, mais j'ai un plan. Et les plans consistent en quoi euh, Ils consistent à avoir deux guetteurs et un sprint. Le plan consiste à avoir deux guetteurs et un sprint. Quelle est la pire chose de l'internat hum, La pire chose, c'est les douches. Ils sont collectifs, ça veut dire qu'on est tous ensemble à poil. On est tous ensemble à poil. Et quelle est la meilleure chose hum, La meilleure chose Il n'y en a pas. Hein. Il n'y en a pas. Ah, T'inquiète Nathan, c'est pour ça que tu peux venir ici faire euh, la pelouse. Et puis avec un peu de chance, je te montre une de nos chambres, la nouvelle. C'est vrai De loin. Ah. Bah oui. Bah courage. Ouais, merci. It is quite late now because I've been busy with other things. But now I'm back to my camera pieces and I really would love to finish that tonight. The whole procedure was just to get to this little piece. It's ridiculous, isn't it? So this is the new one. I need to remember how this was attached to it. Like this. Yeah, that's it. No, no, that's it. This is the heart of the camera. This is the sensor where the image is captured. The most fragile part and probably the most expensive. So I need to be really careful. Ah! Sugar. Ay, ay, ay. This feels good. This feels very good. and I don't know where it goes and I'm always finished with putting the camera back together. I don't want to, I'm distracting you. No, no, it's all right. Good morning. Yes, it's the next morning. And the reason for me not being finished is because yesterday night, it was late, I made quite a big mistake. You remember the little part that came from somewhere and I didn't know where it came from? Well, I checked my footage and I found out that this piece came from the very end of my dismantling of the camera. So I had to reopen everything, all the connectors, take them off, all the screws. I didn't film it because it was pretty much the same as the first time. But yeah, silly me. But now I'm back to where I stopped and where I realized my mistake. And I wanted to share with you this beautiful moment when I put back the the top piece of the camera. It's a nice Citroen wine. It is. Cheers, darling. The taste test. What do you think, girls? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, but the ice cream is good, the creme caramel ice cream, but what about the crumble? What do you think, Anna? Mm. Mm. Is it's it good. a success? Mm. Mm. Let me try it. Minus the bell. No. Lily, hands off. That's not fair. Mm. What do you think, Philip? Mm. I don't mm. like this. Very good. I love it because it's not too sweet. I thought you would like it. Mmm. Tastes like really, really granola. Good. Really, really good. But it doesn't taste like a crumble. It's more like a granola, isn't it? <laughs> How did you make this crumble? Like a granola. <laughs> <laughs> so you're making every week the same granola recipe and you're selling it as a crumble next day as a cake. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> it's really good, but I wouldn't call it a crumble. To be fair, I improvised a little bit. <laughs> so technically it's got way more oats in it than it should have. <laughs> But, you know. It's very good. Is there butter in it? No. So there's no butter in it? No. No flour? No. That's 70% of the crumble recipe. Yeah, but this is a healthy recipe. So basically, you just serve me a muesli saying it's a crumble. Yeah, but it's really healthy, Philip. So you don't have to feel guilty about eating dessert. It was really yummy though. Thank you. You're welcome. Many things happened since I spoke to you last time. Mainly I had to open yet again the camera completely because I found another piece, missing piece, a little tiny piece, but I wasn't sure how important it was. I opened it so many times and I unplugged so many connectors and replugged them. I'm not very confident. I could say I'm confident, but I'm not. I'm gonna put a lens on so at least we can see if there's any sort of image coming out of the camera. And the first test will be, will it even switch on? did switch on, that means that at least the screen is connected and the battery system electricity works. English, yes. Set diet time, Berlin, Paris, that's fine for me. Enter. Okay, no card. That's normal because there's no card. Oh, there's an image. There is an image and I can see the sensor is extremely sturdy because I set the screen on, it's a sensor because I touched it with my fatty fingers but I need to clean the sensor, but that's a little bit later. And this will just be a visual thing. If you see both of these things moving, then that's a success. If not, the whole thing was for nothing. Hello. Hello, hello. Yui! That's a success. Now I just want Anna to see it. Anna! Yeah? Are you done? I'm done. Okay, and? You're not on the screen. <laughs> You're here. There's hey. Anna. Hey, hey, here she is. People want to see your face when I tell you what happened. Is it good news or bad news? It's basically double good news. Not only did we save 400 euros by doing it ourselves. Yeah. The camera works. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. But? And <laughs> we also gained five screws. Okay. That's a bit worrying though. Where, did they, where were they supposed to go? I do not know. <laughs> but it works. It works. Without those screws. Without those screws. So my theory that cameras are over-engineered has proven to be right. Yeah. Okay. Well, well done. Good job. Are you proud of me? I am proud of you, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm pretty impressed to be fair. I would not have the patience to do that, so. The, the patience and the skills. expertise and the skills. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you can do that and you leave all the colours and the decorating up to me. No. Yeah. No. Speaking of colour, have you seen the colour of these boxes up there? Yeah. 
The same color as the oranges which will be on the work surface in the new kitchen. Is that all you have to say? Yeah. Well done. Like high I five. Said, high five, yeah. A tired high five. <laughs> That's, I just repaired the camera. No, I'm really, really, really happy. This was yeah. an engineering great intervention. Yeah. No, I'm pretty, I'm very impressed. You haven't seen, you have to look the video this week's vlog. Yeah. Because you haven't been in here. No. And then you will find me even more attractive than you do already. Okay. Because you will see how skillful my hands are with tiny parts. Not only with big, heavy things, also little things. Why are you laughing? <laughs> okay, right. I need to get on and do stuff, so... I, right. I don't think I'm, well getting, I'm getting enough. Well done. Well done, my love. I'm okay, very that, proud of you. That was in the right direction. I'm really proud of you. You did such a good job. Really well done. A bit more. <laughs> right, okay. Editing. Now, it's already two o'clock. Come on. All right. Yeah, All right. it works. And what next? If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.